What if one of your employees don't come to office from the next day due to COVID and whose work no one can do, not even you? Hey, hello and welcome to Ambition Success. My name is SK and you are watching Ways to Online Season 2 where I'm showing you how Robotic Process Automation or RPA can save you during this pandemic. And you know what? If today you are not here for RPA, then also this video will help you. I will tell you how. In today's video, I will show you Process Map, which is one of the tools which helps to document your business and is one of the answer to the first question what I have asked at the starting of this video. Besides helping documenting business process, process map also helps to improve business process and also it helps to enhance the efficiency of the organization and also it helps to train new employee and also it helps you to become compliant from regulatory perspective and most importantly it helps to maintain quality I will give you an example regarding quality control have you ever thought how MACD or KFC maintains the same level of test year after year I will tell you how they document their production starting from procurement of raw material till plating of your maintain that or follow that strictly. Now let's move to RPA. In RPA also, process map plays an important role. I will give you four examples. Process map gives a binary view of the entire process and also it helps to conduct feasibility testing of the RPA implementation. Number three, it helps or it acts like a blueprint to develop bot and also it helps you to eliminate any non-value added step from your process. Now if it is becoming too technical, let's move to my whiteboard for practical and let's understand in depth about this process. Let's understand the process steps first using my previous video and then we will return back here. So if you analyze and divide into bits and pieces then you will understand that the person needs to log in open email download file store file combine to a single file then divide on the basis of providers or distributors then send email to those distributors and then log out so Suppose the person who used to do that is not with you right now because of this pandemic and another to work from home as well. So will you stop your business? Welcome back. So those were our process steps. Now let's see how this map represents those steps. Each block in this map representing those steps starting from retail shop sends medicine demand email to head office head office staff log in to email and then open email and then there could be two scenarios if the retail shop person forget to attach any file in that email then there will be no attachment and in that case we will return that email to that particular retail shop if there is attachment, then the next step will be download files to storage and then cumulate all to a single file and then we have our next step which is split the entire cumulated list as per distributor and then send email to distributors and then log. Like this, we have created our process map. You can also create your process map and 
and use in the scenarios I have mentioned at the starting of our video. Now, if you have determined that you will create your process map the way I have created over here, then keep these five points in mind. That will help your process map to be understood by all easily and without any confusion. And those are always write your process map from left to right. As if you are writing on a page while writing we write from left to right. When you have reached at the extreme right of your page, then don't write the next step at the top of your previous line. Rather, write at the bottom. Because while reading, we read from top to bottom, not from bottom to top. That's the reason to do this. And the third one is the start and the end process step shape should be different from rest of the step shape. Last but not the least is always maintain same size of shape and text size. Now, addition, I would like to give you two more which I believe will help you to make a self-sufficient, self-explanatory process map. And those are, try to incorporate or capture as many steps as possible. I'll give you an example. Here, if you see, after downloading the file to storage, what I have mentioned as next step, cumulate all to a single file. But, what about opening the file from storage, copying and then pasting to a cumulative file? Try to capture as many as possible what I have not done here. Because it will give more understanding, in-depth knowledge to a person who is reading your process map. Additionally, other than creating process map, companies create SOP or Standard Operating Procedure. That's an, another document which describes each of the steps in detail. Let me give you an example. Suppose a new person is doing that. He has only process map, don't have any separate additional document. He has received nine email, but he or she don't know that there should be 10 email. But if he has a detailed document, which has all the emails and short names, then he can understand that I have not received an email. So he or she can reach out to that person. Like that, process map and detailed process map, which is also known as SOP, can explain or document your business and save you in the situations which I have mentioned at the starting of this video, including COVID. So with this, we have reached at the end of our video describing process map and how that can help your business or profession during not only this pandemic, but any unforeseen circumstances where the person used to do that is not present and you have to do that. You have not done that before again and now you have to do that or somebody else need to do that then how will you do that i have explained in this video so thank you very much for being with me thank you very much for watching this video please share this video if you think somebody will be benefited with this if you like this video press the like button and if you have any suggestion then please write down in comment also you can write what process of your business or profession you are going to document using the techniques I have mentioned in this video. Next, wait for my tech tips, the new section I have started and at the end I would like to wish you a happy Independence Day. Thank you.